it's kind of been a, a trouble-free, problem-free yeah. trip so far, so and we'll, we'll knock on. Yeah. <laughs> How dare you? I should do never that. knock on wood. Good morning, everybody. We are back on the road and back in long sleeves again, which means we are headed north. We just finished up in Elkhart, Indiana. We're right around Kalamazoo, Michigan now, headed towards Petoskey, Michigan to do the Tunnel of Trees and spend a few days up there before we head on to the UP. We spent, we spent the last couple of days at Grand Design there in Elkhart at the factory. We actually stayed at their campsite, which is on site. And glad it was, nice. to, it was really nice. Yeah. The good news is we did get every single issue on our rig resolved. The yeah, knock on wood. So we are completely satisfied. We can't say enough things about Grand Design. Really, from the first phone call we made with the first minor issue, they were just great to work with, great to help you troubleshoot things on the phone, and then the things we couldn't fix ourselves, they scheduled us took care of it and our rig is literally as good as new and because we had to move a bunch of stuff around to give them room to work it's super clean so we are uh, for one day we are going to go up to michigan and through the up and down through wisconsin and kind of do a you know probably about a four week tour there before we head back to illinois so while we were there uh, all the staff that we came across was super friendly and then we had a chance to do a tour an actual reflection tour and that was fun. We had a fun group. Even if you're not interested in RVs, that's a pretty neat thing to do. And it was free. Yeah. But. Unfortunately, they do have a policy and we had to sign going in. No cameras, no pictures, no video. So we don't have anything to share there. But I would recommend you check it out. The best piece of equipment is what you can get service on and a warranty that counts and that matters and that they stand behind and I can vouch for the fact that Grand Design totally stands behind their products, even when it's uh, numerous issues like we had. So we're really encouraged, really satisfied and happy, and we're ready to get back to normal life and be able to live out of a refrigerator instead of a igloo cooler again. So that's pretty great. So happy to have a fridge again. just ate at Big Boy, which we thought was a fast food restaurant by the looks of the sign, but it wasn't. I think it technically is a fast food restaurant. Is I mean, it? I mean, it was fast. I had breakfast. At 11.45. <laughs> it was so good. In the late 19th century, Petoskey was in the region of northern Michigan where 50,000 passenger pigeon birds were killed daily in massive hunts, leading to their complete extinction in the early 20th century. <laughs> you ought not be doing that. Why don't you tell everybody why we're standing here staring at rocks? We're looking for a Petoskey stone. And this is supposed to be one of the best places to find it. It, uh, well, we can just put a picture in. Yeah, we'll put a picture in below. We're learning. But it has the patterns, actually fossilized uh, coral. And you'll, you'll wash up and you'll kind of carve out into a smooth stone. And we just found out that you find it when it gets wet is when you see the pattern. So 
for looking. We actually talked to a local and he helped us out. And then he said, you're in my territory. <laughs> I think he said, don't start a turf war. <laughs> but we're here at Potoski State oh, Park. He was fun. Yeah, he was fun. But we're here at Potoski State Park out on the beach looking for Potoski stones. But really, the main reason we're here is to see this beautiful sunset. We got a few minutes left to try to hunt down some Potoski stones before sundown, and then we're going to watch the sunset. and happy Saturday. We're on our last day here at the Sun Outdoors Campground in Petoskey, Michigan. What an awesome campground. We kind of stumbled onto this place as we were passing through from Indiana up to the UP. It's a resort. It's, it's a, a resort. resort and it's a true resort. <laughs> we were just here for a week and this place has everything. We could have spent the whole week and never left the campsite. What we like is they have a clubhouse that's open 24-7. From what we can tell, with school being in session, it's past Labor Day. We're about mid-September right now. Yep. No one's really using those amenities, so we kind of feel like we're kids and we're just using them like crazy. So it's kind of like the whole place is here for us. <laughs> yeah. So we have been starting our morning with the gym, and which is a pretty decent little gym. And then they have a sauna, so that was really nice. Uh, they have showers, nice showers. They have this huge lobby area where you can sit in front of the fire. A really nice library. They have a card room. They have billiard room. A movie theater room. Movie theater. They have a pool. They have a hot tub, which we've utilized numerous times. And they do have the uh, outdoor grilling area on the back side oh. of the clubhouse that's covered. So if you're rained out or you don't have a grill, there's two free gas grills out there you can just use at your leisure. So. The, really nice park. Laundry facilities were super nice. Kind of small on the laundry side, but plenty enough. Um, four or five washers and dryers. The whole place is super clean. It's gated, coat in, coat out. Mm -hmm. um, a little pricier than what we normally do, yeah. but we've been on the road and partially boondocking and dealing with issues. So to just have a nice concrete pad, full hookup site, Starlink's working great here. It's kind of been a, a trouble free, problem free yeah. trip so far. So, and we'll, we'll knock on. Yeah. <laughs> How dare you! I should never do knock that. on wood. The dogs do not approve. They have a little putting green, a pickleball court, a basketball court, just a ton of stuff to keep you busy. We've been out and about, but there have been a couple nights that we've needed to take care of some stuff, and so we've been maybe utilizing a lunch time to go have a little fun or um, a little time set aside before we start working. So we've enjoyed it here. The location's awesome. It's close to everything. And uh, then we head out tomorrow. Today, we're gonna go to Traverse City. We don't really have a set solid plan. We're just gonna kind of go and see what we can find to do. Let's go. Yeah, let's pick us up one of those yachts. Yeah, just while we're here, I mean, we'll also grab Might one. as well. I, I refuse to compromise to a, anything under 50, 60. 50 feet is kind of the yeah, thing for me. Yeah, I just can't do any smaller than that. We'll just, uh, well, on the way back, we'll grab a yacht. What up? <laughs> so we just got done touring the Traverse City Asylum, which is no longer open. It's been closed since 1989, but had a really good tour guide and picked up some really good history there. It was kind of neat. Yeah, the two hours flew by. You go into steam tunnels, um, old buildings. That was, it was pretty wild. 
So we enjoyed it. It's totally worth, what did we pay? $35 a person? 30 bucks a person. 30 bucks a person. Totally worth it. Two hours flew. There's some really neat history behind it. So it was opened in the late 1800s for the mentally ill who were otherwise treated very badly. And it was kind of meant to be a place where they could interact with other people. They had a farm on site so they could, you know, give them purpose by letting them do jobs. Everybody kind of had something to do. And they actually did some really groundbreaking mental health treatments here back in the day. Some others that didn't work out so well, um, but we did get to tour one of the men's facilities and got to walk in some of the underground tunnels like Ange mentioned, but check out the history. It's a really cool place to see. And we had an excellent tour guide. I think her name was Catherine. Yeah, Catherine. And Catherine. She was great. She was great. She knew all the history. She grew up just a couple of miles away from the asylum. So that was pretty cool. Besides, like I said, next year, They were still, there was three years to build the original one. Okay. She actually asked that nobody videos while she was telling stories because a lot of it's personal stories to her or to her family. Uh, so out of respect for that, we didn't video anything, but we did take some cool pictures and got to see a lot of neat things. Two hours well spent. But we, we could video throughout the tour otherwise. Yeah. So we were given permission and we will drop in a little bit of what we saw, um, but just be in there. That was pretty neat, worth yeah. it. Very cool. And then while we were still here on the grounds, um, there's just this little bitty, what, quarter mile maybe? Yeah, a quarter mile um, to, walk, hike. To hippie, hippie trees they call them. People would meditate in this area and they'd spray paint. Um, it's pretty. It's very colorful and vibrant. We wanted to see it. Little problem with people painting on trees, but hey, to each his own, I guess. But it, it, it was pretty. 